tabs open, only the last two are uh, inventory. Yeah, only the last two are inventory. The rest is all stuff I've sold. So main account did great. The other account, there, there's a story with that that we'll get to. Uh, that we get to, we'll get to when I'm done going through all of these sales. So starting off, we have a uh, NYPD challenge coin. Uh, sold it for twelve. $12.99. And next is this, um, these next couple ones here, all are, all but this one actually are, uh, Chicago, I'm pretty sure, or at least Illinois. Yeah, so there's this Jacksonville Station 9, there's this Chicago Paramedic, uh, Chicago Truck 32, uh, Chicago Squad 1, and Chicago uh, Ladder 24. Those all sold at $3.99. All the same buyer. Uh, and it came to like just under 20 bucks. I think even with the... There was a couple dollars off of the uh, my $20 threshold. So I, I, I uh, did up this to uh, first class ship. Especially since they bought... What was it? Four or five things. So that... Uh, it was more that was really just a a volume mover on that one, just get clear a little bit of space on that one. But it did still make some make a couple bucks on that lot. Uh, next is Jersey City uh, Ladder Six, sold it for seven ninety nine. Uh, then we have another NYPD Challenge coin, and then another one. Yeah, and then another one. So I think it was this one or. Er, it doesn't really matter, but, uh, I, the first one you saw, I had sent that one out, I, I sent it out, and then I come back in the afternoon, I see another one had sold, and it had sold to the same buyer, but because of the timing of when he bought it, uh, when he bought it in the morning, it was like 11 something, so it was right before I leave, and, uh, a lot of times I'll, I always check in the morning real quick and see uh, you know, to finish pulling anything that, uh, doing some pulling and shipping before I leave to go to work, so I, uh, so I sent it out to him, and then I seen in the afternoon it was the same guy who bought it, he had bought another one, so that really annoyed me because now I'm paying the shipping on it twice compared to if he just bought it at the same time, or he had bought it you know, if, even if he had bought it like an hour later, it would have, I would have been able to combine the shipping on him. So, uh, which would have been great, especially on these challenge on the challenge coins, because at thirteen bucks free ship, it costs I think about usually it's about like four, four to ship, and it costs me three, uh, three a piece on them. So, and then after fees, I usually only make between like three, three to like four, uh, depending. On like where it's going or if I send an off route or not so that was annoying for sure uh, next oh yeah next was this uh, San Antonio Spurs uh, Mitchell and Ness hat that you guys saw last week with the Goodwill haul from the rich neighborhood this sold overnight 25 bucks plus ship as you see um, and I could not find going through all the ones that are listed and everything that's sold um, uh, you know, in the last 90 days, I could not find one that had the big logo on the front of it like this. I did contemplate putting this to auction, uh, but as you can see, I decided whatever, just list it, you know, anything over like 10 bucks, I'll make money, so I don't care. Put it up for 25 bucks, and like I said, sold overnight, so that was a good one. So, that was a good flip. Uh, sold another leaf blower for, uh, 60 bucks. Uh, sold this University uh, Medivac. Sold out, out an offer for four twenty four. Uh, and actually looking at my cheat sheet, I think this Toro got sold out an offer for fifty five seventy nine. I know one of them sold out an offer, and uh, that kind of was not great because uh, there's a lot of these with shipping on them, depending on where it's going. Uh, after shipping and then the cost of goods, it's not the profit is very slim on it, and it's not even mine. It's 
part of the palette in the James Bond that I'm still slowly working through selling them all. We do have... We're almost done with these uh, damn leaf blowers. There's about, I think, 10 of them left. Uh, and we're going to do a yard sale in a couple weeks. And James is going to try and move them. See if we can move them locally before I go back to trying to sell them on eBay. Because, you know, there's so little money in them after shipping them. Because a lot of them are going far. They're not going any, you know, anywhere close by. They're going to, you know, the California, Arizona, you know, they're Texas. They're going way over there. So going to the other side of the country. So it's not, it's really cutting into the profit. But I, I'm thinking that I will put them up slightly higher. Uh, if I do have to try and sell the rest of them on eBay, I'm going to think I'm going to update it to like 65 maybe 70 because i sold the brand new ones for 90 i'm thinking i could probably get a little more out of it to help pad the bottom line a little bit uh next was this newark new jersey fire at 5.99 uh, i sold a different leaf blower tor power jet for 70 bucks i like these ones much better as you can see much smaller much simpler less parts to have to worry about it's just the blower and the tube the box is much smaller you know these ship very nicely Compared to the Ultras. I wish I had. There's more power jets. I think there's one or two more power jets. Um, I have to look in the shed. But you can't even get to anything in there. Because there's so much crap in there. Uh, next was this uh, Toro Flex Force uh, battery charger. Sold it for 40 bucks Plus $10 shipping. This sold within like an hour or two. I think actually price is a little bit under. Probably could have got... Uh, 40, I mean, 50 plus ship. Because uh, I know James said in the store that these are, you know, retail. At Home Depot, I think they were like at least 100 bucks. So I probably could have got a little more from this. This was from a new pallet. Um, you'll see after this when I show you the update on the hot water tanks. When I bring you out, out of the computer, I show, uh, I talk about how he bought another pallet when he went and picked up the hot water tanks. So this was from that palette. Uh, next was this Mitchell and Ness Boston Bruins hat. And then this one was not in as good a shape. It's kind of got a little bit of staining on the front. Um, that's not too bad. But it was on the The thing was, it's on the side. As you can see, there's this little hole in it. Still sold pretty quick on off for $11.69 plus $5 ship. And then I got positive feedback. Buyer is happy. So that's good. Surprisingly, the one that I still have is the Lakers hat that is not sold. I'm kind of surprised. So, uh, we'll have to see on that one. That'll be another good one because that uh, that's listed for twenty bucks, so that'll be a good one when that one sells. Uh, next is this Baltimore City Engine Thirty, and then it also sold together with this Baltimore Truck Thirteen uh, Engine Thirty, and it's actually a small patch too. Sold for eight ninety nine. And then the truck 13 sold for $7.99. Uh, next is this Dearborn Heights, Michigan for $5.99. Oh, it's got the additional 125 ship, which I didn't. Uh, I think. Oh, great. That means my numbers are off. I'm going to have to go back to the spreadsheet because I put it with the normal dollar shipping. I'm pretty sure so my numbers, I think, are off. I'll have to double check that. Uh, next is this Bath Fire Department for $3.99. Uh, we have this LA City Communications for six ninety nine. You would think this would be a lot uh, more desirable than it is. That's not very desirable, which is very unfortunate. Uh, next was this uh, little seventeen by seven by seven live animal trap. F sold that for forty bucks. F or no, that sold out on offer thirty seven ninety nine free ship. As you can see, this. Uh, my mother, our mother, I should say, I always say my like that. Our mother wanted to do a AMB, which is Amazon bulk, which is I think is just the bulky returns instead of the coffin boxes that that I bought. That's for the smaller stuff. So this was in there. This was one of the couple things in there that was definitely worth uh, putting on eBay. Uh, a lot of the stuff, the pallet she bought was absolute was cr pretty crappy. Uh, She'll be lucky to make money on it. So we've kind of, we've done, you know, now different, multiple different 
Amazon things, and I just don't like Amazon returns. I just, it's just not for me. There's, uh, I definitely don't want to deal with it. It's just low value. There's not really money to be made. It's just junk. Because uh, we've done a mystery box. I did the coffin boxes, which are returns. The mystery box, that is new inventory, but it's not worth anything. Uh, it's not really worth anything. The coffin boxes, which I did returns, that was a lot of work. I don't want to do those ever again. And then now uh, the A and Bs, which I'm pretty sure, like I said, is Amazon bulk returns. Stuff that wouldn't fit in the small boxes, so they're an actual Gaylord. Those, that she, at least the one that she bought was junk. I have seen, like, one that was probably a good one that had a denim receiver in it. That was, if that was, you know, in good shape, it was probably four or five hundred bucks. That would have been your money back. That's probably about the only time I've seen anything good. A lot of them have a lot of baby stuff, which I don't want to deal with. And that's oh, uh, what hers had. It had a diaper genie. It had uh, baby gates, uh, car seat, uh, something else, baby, too. So, And a lot of cheap furniture. Like, it makes big lots of furniture look nice. It's, it's pretty crappy. So, uh, but like I said, she wanted to try it out, so did and then this was one of the things that was worth putting up on ebay and it actually sold pretty quick too so i was surprised sold in a couple days uh next speaking of amazon crap from the pallet local pallet place uh this friendly barks adjustable snuffle mat sold it for 15 bucks free ship this came from uh my amazon uh my amazon coffin boxes that i bought a while back now never gonna make money on those that's for sure uh but this was one of the things that sold out of uh from there and it ended up going to hawaii so luckily this i was able to shove this into a poly mailer because if i had to put this in a box shipping would have been you know seven eight bucks and uh i would be actually lucky that it would be i would have to really try and find a box small enough to make sure that this would stay under first class so that was not great uh, uh, enough complaining about that damn uh, amazon pallets uh next we have this alpharetta georgia volunteer fire uh sold it for 7.99 and the buyer sent me a message he wanted to buy two or he wants two of them but then it was like acting like you know he sent because the, the question he sent me made no sense because he was asking about the quantity, and I, you know, because he wanted to buy two, uh, there's only one here, and if you search the store, there's only one. This, I only have one. I've gotten that a few times now where people want to buy more than one of the same thing, but I don't have another one. It just doesn't it doesn't exist. Uh, there, you know, and usually, if I have quantity of it, it's put under one listing with the quantity. Now, there's a couple where I do have, where I've made, have the same patch, but I've made separate listings for it because there's like slight differences so but a quick search through the store and you will see the other you know you'll see anything else that's listed uh so i sent him a message about it you know how i don't have two and he didn't say anything else so i you know i waited a day to send it you know to see if he'd want to cancel the order or whatever no so i haven't heard from him so i just sent it we'll see how this turns out uh, next is this Davis, uh, Oklahoma Police, sold for four ninety nine, and I almost couldn't find this patch, uh, because of the skew and how old this listing is. It's over a year old. Um, I just I thought I had lost it. Luckily, I wasn't able to find it. Enough searching, I just didn't look hard enough in the one drawer that has the small smaller lots in it. Uh, some little storage, three door storage drawers that I found. Out in the air, found dumpster diving. Uh, next, I had thought I sold another leaf blower. Sent this sent an offer out on this one. Buyer accepted, and then probably like, uh, you know, within an hour or so or whatever, it was pretty quick. They submitted a cancellation request. So love seeing that. You know, I think it was purchased wrong item or whatever. I, you know, not the first time that's actually happened with these leaf blowers. You know, whatever canceled it relisted and then sh very shockingly i heard the cha-ching i look i sold it i'm like very confused 
it had sold within like 20 minutes of it being relisted. It sold for 60 bucks. It sold full price. And it, of course, it went to California, so that was not great. They really cut into the, uh, really cut in on with the profit. I think it was like barely profitable, maybe like four bucks, which is which is why we decided it's if we can try and sell these, you know, give it one more shot trying to sell them locally. So, but yeah, that very that shocked me. But it does make sense because you figure when you cancel and relist it like that, I'm pretty sure it'll show up as a fresh listing. So it'll show up to the t you know it'll sh show on the top of the search results. And I just got lucky apparently that the guy happened to see it. So. That ended up working out. Uh, next was this Bethel uh, Police in Connecticut, four ninety nine on that one. New York State EMTP, five ninety nine. Uh, sold the trimmer blower combo kit for one hundred ninety bucks free ship. This of course also went to California. Uh, so shipping on this thing was like almost forty bucks. Uh, it was definitely close to forty bucks, I'd say, and. Uh, cause I, and I have to send it UPS ground, uh, because a FedEx ground most of the time doesn't show, doesn't show up as an option. And besides, I really don't want to send anything with batteries FedEx because our FedEx local, locally, uh, sucks. It was only one, it was one particular employee who was a pain. The other guy, he's cool. He doesn't care, you know, just scans it. Uh, he doesn't question anything. I'm pretty sure I still told the story about how I dropped the two tool-only items off, but they were shipped in the original box, and it has, you know, the battery. It says it's actually printed on the box about how it has a uh, battery in it, and, you know. So she was kind of giving us a hard time. So that's why I said I will just send it UPS, because I know they don't, they don't question me. I know what I'm doing. So uh, that's one of the few... Uh, things that sold with batteries. So, 190 free ship on that. Next, Greeley, Greeley Colorado Police, 399. Uh, Hennepin, Hennepin, Hennepin County EMS for 999. Uh, Flanders uh, Volunteer Fire Department, 599. That's uh, old stock. It's been around a while. Rosemont uh, Minnesota Police. This has also been around a while. And you can tell I wasn't paying attention. I left the uniform patch in there. I always take that out of someone else's title. I just put patch. Uh, next is Norfolk Fire. Fire Rescue, Fire Paramedic Services, yada, yada, yada. Eight ninety nine dollars on that one. Uh, next, Powerhawk Rescue Systems in Rockaway, New Jersey. Six ninety nine. dollars uh, Milwaukee Fire Hazmat. Had two of them. Sold them both to the same buyer at five ninety nine dollars apiece. Uh, Orlando Regional Fire Pipes and Police and Fire Pipes and Drums from that uh, Pipes and Drum lot that I bought quite a while uh, quite a while ago now. Oh yeah, it's old because I still have Best Offer turned on. That's how old this is. Uh, so finally sold it for nine ninety nine, and I got two of them. So we'll see about that one. Uh, next, I sold two of these uh, Toro Flex Flex Force uh, the sixty volt system the two amp uh batteries and they don't work they won't charge and i saw in, i have to have two of one that i listed at 25 and then i have one that i listed slightly higher i think at like 40 i might I might need to drop the price on it a bit uh but the reason i listed these ones cheaper than the other ones that i did is because when you um you know hit the power button on them they just drop, it just drops right down. Whereas the other one that I listed higher, the one bar will stay, um, will stay lit up for a couple of seconds. Well, while these two just completely shut off. So, uh, it sent out an offer on them for twenty two forty nine, And the guy, it's today, it sent me a message asking, uh, could I make the quantity or with that offer? Can I make the quantity of two? You can't do that. And when you accept the offer, it's only for one. It's really that's something eBay should fix. It's really stupid. Uh, so I told him, okay, I'll just add best offer, and then you can send me that that way. Well, I couldn't. eBay wouldn't let me add best offer for some reason. I think it's because of the sending out the offers or whatever. I hate when. That's another thing I hate with eBay is 
how you can't change certain things, you know, once you sent offers out. Uh, you know, you can't, like, add best offer, apparently. Uh, so, that's kind of, that was anno another annoying thing. So, I said, um, I'll just change the price on the actual listing, and then you can just buy it that way. So, that's what I did. I just changed it. For tr so, I just sold them both for twenty two forty nine each, free ship. Um, and luckily, it's not going too far. It's going to, I think, Georgia, if I remember right. So, it costs, like, eight bucks to ship it. Uh, eight bucks for the two of them. So, I'm not bad on those for two batteries that don't charge um and actually i have another one like i said the higher priced one and then i could have probably upsold them i have another one that james gave me uh that doesn't charge either and it's a uh, similar situation to this one where the bar the bars just drain they just go away so i'll get around to listing that at some point uh Next is uh, San Diego, California lifeguard. Sold that out on offer for five thirty nine. Uh, last thing I sold was this Toro sixty volt pole saw. Sold it for one sixty five. Originally had it listed for one ninety, and the guy sent me an offer or sent me a message saying would I take one sixty four. I counted back at one seventy, and he said meet me in the middle at one sixty five. I said sold whatever. Uh, this one I know is going to Georgia, I think. Yeah, this one's going to Georgia. Now I don't remember if that's where the batteries are going to. Anyways. Uh, so this, like I said, I took the offer on that. Uh, and because it's going, it's staying on the East Coast, it's not, it wasn't too expensive to ship. Uh, that is, um, I'm trying to think. Anything else I want to add? Uh, but I do want to say that this, the combo kit and then this pole saw was the last two real expensive things that we had left from that original pallet that James got. So he's, I think, in the profit now. Everything else after uh, that sells after this is profit. And there's actually still a couple more things, uh, 60 volt stuff downstairs that a co worker was supposed to buy from him, but uh, he might be quitting and, you know, he's not. He's not, you know, real, uh, he's not a real solid buyer, I'll say. I guess you can call it. Uh, he's not, you know, it's not likely that he's going to actually pay. So, uh, I'll gladly list that stuff because those are some good, couple of good, uh, high value things. It's, uh, one of the chainsaws and it has the battery with it. So that's probably another 150 bucks easily at least. Uh... And what else is there? I think a hedge trimmer, but those are not really worth listing. Or no, he sold him the hedge trimmer. That he did pay for. Uh, I don't remember what else is in the pile. There's a little pile form of stuff downstairs, so uh, I maybe end up listing may end up listing that. Uh so that's everything that I've that I sold on this account. Next I'll show you the two things that I picked up. These uh two, it's two different lots of remotes. This one was a lot of 50. Um, I didn't pay 50 bucks. I just got sent an offer. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember what it was. Uh, but I think after tax, this will end up coming back up to like 50 bucks or whatever. So um, I've been kind of going through these remotes. Uh, this is not that great of a buy. I'll tell you that right now. A lot of these direct TV remotes in here, which are not great. And. Uh, I think I had 10 of them at least that don't work. Um, they don't work. They're corroded. Uh, you know, the batteries were left in there and corroded them. So it was at least 10 of them out of the 50 that were junk. So that's not good. And then there's a couple here that I think I can't even test. Or, or I'm pretty sure junk or like what the batteries are. I can't test them. You know, it's just turning out to be a big hassle so but then it doesn't help either i have this other lot of 70 plus remotes as well coming in um that'll be coming in in a couple days that i wanted to auction as you can see the starting price was super cheap and ended up winning them for 665 plus 35 ship so now these two remote lots are pretty cheap at least uh but i'm i don't know about this whole uh my little flipping remotes experiment because a lot of remotes are just not worth it 
you know, they're super common. You can get a brand new one for seven bucks free ship, you know, so they're not worth it. Or a lot of them are only worth like ten bucks free ship. So, you know, I might need to be a little more uh selective or just not not try this again. Or stick to like goodwill lots where there's you know, there's not many in there. Uh, so we'll kind of see how this experiment is. But actually, speaking of that Goodwill lot, one of them I looked up is a $50 remote, apparently. Uh, so we'll see if it sells, but apparently it's worth 50 bucks. We'll see, uh, because if so, that'll be great, because that, that'll be all my money back right from that one remote. Alright, enough with this account. We'll switch over to this one. We'll make this pretty quick, because, uh, not much happened on this one, that's for sure, other than one big, real pain in my ass. So, we got this Corpus Christi for $5.99. Uh, this Sabath Sabatha, Kansas at $8.99. Uh, Spring Creek Lieutenant at $7.99. Uh, Chicago, like an older style, I guess. I've never really seen this one for $5.99. Uh, Phoenix for $4.99. Dutchess County Sheriff at $5.99. Uh, Germantown, Ohio at six ninety nine, and then there's Willard, Ohio at five ninety nine. I'm pretty sure these both sold to the same uh, buyers, two different orders. Uh, Tucson, I sold two of them to the same buyer on the same order, three ninety nine a piece. Real home run here. Uh, Miami Vice at four ninety nine. Uh, Albany Police at six ninety nine, and then last this Clay County Sheriff at five ninety nine. So, the reason why there wasn't a lot of uh, sales on this account, partially because I got a three-day ban. As you can see, I got a th three-day suspension. As you can see, I got it for violating the badge policy, which is complete nonsense, because as you can see, the listing that they pulled was a challenge coin, not a badge. You can't use a challenge coin in any way to impersonate law enforcement. If you fall for that, you're an idiot. Um, having a challenge coin doesn't mean anything. It doesn't have any power to it. So, but they hit me with a three-day ban because I've, in the, you know, the police-related category, police-related items, I've had a couple listings taken down beforehand. So that's why I got the three-day ban. And, uh, next time it'll be seven days. So, I ended up pulling all my challenge, the couple of challenge coins, the federal stuff ones at least, uh, that I got all in the same lot. So I ended up pulling them, and I did talk to two different eBay res representatives through their chat, and they were like, nope, it's, it's the correct, we can't do anything. Even though I told them it's a challenge coin, not a badge. So that really pissed me off. Uh, that they can't do anything because it's BS. It's not, uh, you can't do anything with a freaking challenge coin. So that's why I said I didn't end up pulling the other listings. The one guy's even like, no, you don't need to, as long as they don't match, you know, as long as they're not too close to, like, a current law enforcement nonsense, whatever his stupid-ass message was. So I just took him down because I'm not going to deal with eBay trying to, you know, after this three-day, flag those and then give him, hit me with the seven-day. So I'm thinking again about toning down the police stuff because it's just such a hassle to always have to be worried about is this going to get me suspended so well because I even told the one I think I told the first eBay rep that I talked to about well great now I'm one step closer to a 7 day because I know you guys are going to flag me again for something stupid um, both of them kind of you know I'd say slightly rude because they like hung up you know, ended the chat with me when I wasn't done. Uh, but they kind of just ended it because there's nothing else to talk about. They can't, you know, they tell you to make sure you read the policy and don't list it, you know, list the bannable item again. And, um, and how they can't do anything with, about it. So, you know, that's my little eBay rant. There's always something, always something with eBay every, you know, month or two. There's something that pops up that, pisses me off, so, alright, that is it, I've talked definitely long enough, this is probably a very long video if I have to guess, especially when I add the other four minute clip of the 
hot water tanks after this. So, we'll see you guys next week. Oh, yeah. All right, so quickly, uh, update on the uh, hot water tank situation. So, this one is definitely used. I put this one up for parts. Uh, 70 plus ship. Uh, the remotes I'm working on from that one. Uh, from the lot that came in the lot of 50. Uh, this uh, up here is lined with inventory over here. Uh, one of these. Or was... What was it? And that's not. wasn't wasn't sealed, but it's always oh, got some scratches on it. Uh, but otherwise, it looks fine. And then the two that were still sealed, still stapled shut, are new. I opened the one to check, and then I didn't bother opening the other one. So uh, I got them all listed right now. Uh, but I might need to, and I have them for plus ship. I might need to uh, not charge for the shipping, do the free ship, and do free ship. Uh, I kind of got to check the listings again to kind of see if they're getting any, um, views or anything, or might have to do promoted listings or something, uh, because I want them gone, so. This is some of the inventory. It's all James's, uh, all James's other than this stuff right here. Oh, uh, these are two more leaf blowers from a new pallet that he got, or that he went and picked up. When he went and picked those up, he picked up a different pallet. These are actually two pretty good leaf blowers on. Uh, hundred, over $100. Uh, even as tool only, because the, the batteries with them were junk. Uh, batteries with them were junk, and the one charger, I sold that off separate, you saw. And then the other one, I think, had, had a slow charger or whatever that I'll include with it. Uh, but those are pretty good blowers, so... And then a couple of the hats from the Goodwill video last week. I still haven't gotten around to these two. Listing these two or the Adidas one. And then I still have that Bill's uh, hat that I washed. And kind of just feels like I made it worse. Uh, uh, but I'll just list it as is. It'll probably uh, still be just fine. So, yeah. That's the, the corridor of inventory. Uh, definitely con contemplated... Or, uh, even James was thinking about needing a storage unit, but then he was like, only needing it for like a month, you know, trying just to hopefully sell through some crap and, uh, not need it anymore. But I think we need a storage unit. Uh, there's a good place, uh, not too far from here, 5 by 15 for 90 bucks. So, which is not bad. Uh, and I kind of did the measure out of 5 feet wide, like from like, the wall or in my bedroom too but with the edge of the office chair sits and then 15 so that comes out to that comes out in here it's probably plenty of space but he doesn't want to spend the money and then these are orders that are going out uh james was supposed to go drop off the one the combo kit and then the other leaf blower it needed to be dropped off but he didn't do that today but then that kind of it kind of works out because then i sold the two batteries that you saw and then the pole saw it just so, it saved having to go back to UPS again today. Uh, so, it, uh, the only downside is, is the buyer has to wait another day uh, for their order to be sent out. So, that is that update.